over uh, at the Internet Storm Center uh, diary. Xavier wrote a diary entry about uh, malicious documents that are now using uh, publisher uh, file format. Now this is uh, just an uh, unknowledge file with uh, macros. So I obtained a sample and I will show you how you can uh, analyze it. It's just uh, like any other uh, malicious uh, document word, uh, Excel for example, that uses macros. So these are the, the streams and you can see there is one stream here uh, with VBA macros. So let's look into that stream. Select stream 13, decompress. So here is the macro code. Looks like quite some uh, useless code in here. Ah, and here we have uh, CHR codes. So this might build up a URL or something like that. So we have several of them. Let's uh, grab for CHR. Okay, we have uh, quite a bit of them. Let's um, convert this to a string. So first of all, I need to replace the addition here, this expression by uh, its uh, value, so the, the sum. And I'm going to use my translate program for that. So let me pipe this into translate. I'm going to specify a regular expression. So the regular expression is a series of digits a space, a plus character, a space, and again a series of digits. And then I can give my Python function, which receives the match object from uh, the regular expression, and let's just say that we will replace this with the letter X, just as an example to see uh, an intermediate result. Okay, like this. So you can see all the numbers uh, here, the additions have been correctly matched and replaced with an X. Of course, we don't want an X, we want to replace it with the value of uh, that expression, so the sum. So let's do this. So I have the match string in M group zero. So it's an expression, which is also a valid Python expression. So I will evaluate it. And this will give me an integer, which is the sum of uh, those two numbers. But I don't need an integer here. I need a string. So I'm going to convert that integer to a string. Like this. And now here you have the CHRs with the uh, number which is a sum. Now I'm going to convert those numbers to a string. I'm going to use my numbers to string function. Okay, and now we can already recognize something cmd.exe. So we not just need to join this. You can do this with option J, join, like this. Okay, and here we have uh, the command. So when analyzing this, you can see command.exe that uh, uses the BITS uh, system to transfer a file, so actually to download a file. This is uh, the source here, this is the URL. Here is a location to where the file will be saved. So it will be saved as a GIF file. Then it will be opened. And then here uh, an exit. Now I did download this. 
this is indeed an executable and uh, I have to do some further research why it is actually saved as a GIF file because when you open a GIF file and when it is an executable uh, it is not the executable that will execute but the default program to view GIF files will be started and the file will be passed to that.